Hi guys, welcome to Final Fantasy Brave Experience. Today, I wanna share my strategy to clear our new level of Son of the Intangil Trial from Chamber of the Fall Indignant Extension Mode. Yep, we have some missions here, no items, evoke an Esper and defeat Intangil within 20 turns. I'm gonna bring this Yoshikiri with EX1. Okay. And it should be ah oh, nice newly fight to sleep effect, nice. Um yeah, you should build all of your units with newly fight to sleep, and then with high HP and spirit point, because um yeah, in order to survive from Intangir preventive attack, I bring Renew Vision as my support unit. Okay, with high XP and spirit and then I bring white Mac Rosa to break Intangir I equip her with two instrument weapons and because um, Rosa has low XP I equip her with lucid lenses but maybe I will try Reno's Google um, it has same effect but the differentiation is only 10% lucid lenses has 99% oh 100% if I'm not wrong and reno googles only give 90% okay but I think that's enough I equip bonds with the ions this material to fill evo evocation gates by one or two per turn and then I bring Stitfus Soldier Machina as my let's say channel with dispel effect and I bring Morgana as my summoner okay summer parasol this this stuff has effect heart of fashion that can fill evocation gates by one per turn and I equip her with bonds with the ions also Okay, and I bring Tifa as my finisher, LB finisher. In her normal form, I equip her with Summer Parasol and then Bahamut Synergy. This material can fill evocation gates by 2 or 3 per turn. And this is her build in Brave Shift mode. Um, yep. As you can see, I will be skiller and LB damage. Medda's vision card already at max level. And this is her details. Be skiller 225% plus LB damage boost uh, 200%. I think that's enough to be to beat in Tangier. So here we go. Yep, as you can see, um, evocation gets already full, but Morgana just got it. Um, Renew Vision cast Beast Breaker Plus to boss damage against Beast type. Um, Rosa guarded. I will not inflict any damage to Intangir. Masina cast Awakening Plus to activate triple cast at the next turn. Okay. Tifa turn into Brave Shift mode. Um, prepare for LB damage. Concentration two times and awaken fighting spirit. I will activate triple cast for Yoshikiri at the next turn with Hikikomori. Yeah. Hikikomori, enable wombo combo. Okay, Hikikomori. Okay. Um, now let's see. What can you do, Rin? 
at this turn. Oh, nothing. Rosa, break it in Tangier with dual radiant rose. Come on, you can do it. Don't give up to break uh, that monster. Yes. Thank you so much, Rosa. You did a great job. And Messina cast Infilmon Drive. Okay, to dispel Insangir. And then dual cast Elemental Weakening. Morgana Evoke Kokuryu. Tifa prepare for LB damage. And Yoshigiri turn into Breath Shift mode and use his Wombo combo. Choose um, Water Scroll. And then. Um, ninjutsu Hakai Ryoku. Yup. Dual cast Ninjutsu Hakai Ryoku. Awesome, you are so awesome, Yoshigiri. I hope I can pull you in this in this week. Yep. Yep. So, guys, um, that is my strategy to clear um son of the Intangil extension mode with all mission clear. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you guys have anything to discuss about this game. Please feel free to add comment below, we can discuss there, and I thank you so much for watching this video, see you on my next video, bye bye!